Welcome to another Let's Play! This is MBW Champion! And we are playing Link's Awakening, which is Zelda number 4! For you guys that are counting at home. Uh, this is for the Game Boy. Actually, it's for the Game Boy Color. Um, because we're playing the DX version of this. Uh, oh, oh! Oh, and Link got hit by some lightning. Right, right in the, right in between the eye. All right, so this is basically the storyline. Link was at an adventure, of course, because he's an adventurous kind of guy, and he was sailing on his on his uh, ship, maybe looking for Navi. He always tries to look for Navi. And lightning hit, lightning struck, and now he finds himself on an island with a huge ass egg. I think Birdo's in it. I think, yeah, I, spoiler alert, Birdo's in it. Man, look at the dates on that. 1993 to 1998. Uh, 1998 is when the DX version came out. But that's like, that's a five year gap between the DX version. I know the Game Boy um, took so long to, to do. Um, like, I want to say the Game Boy came out in 89 on the top of my head. And and the Game Boy Color didn't come out until like 1997, I want to say. Anyways, here's uh, Link waking up. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No. My name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on... And I can never say this right, by the way. And again, I butcher everything. A cocoliant? Cocoliant? Wait. Coco... Cocolint. Let's just call it Cocolint. Cocolint Island. Cocolint Island. That's... I, I, that sounds good. Can I... Oh, I can move. I like jumped on her face. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you were washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Why Why does she want me to go over there? I was just thinking to myself, like, I know, like, it's telling you where to go, but, like, why is she wanting me to go that way? I have no idea, but anyways. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Torin. Help you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? Well, I think it's, it's kind of weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. You got your shield back. Press the button to repel enemies with it. Alright, so this is the B button right there. <laughs> the screen is so small on this. It's, it's like, it's cute. It's cute in a way. Like, it's... Literally, like, so tiny. Can I get hit with this? Okay. It doesn't, uh, like, attack me, but... Oh, look, it's a baby one. Alright. So, we're gonna follow the lane, just like it's saying. It's... Oh. These guys are playing, uh... Hey, man, you wanna... Wait, what? Not really sure why that. Just kidding. I like how they like to do you, give you tutorial stuff. I like this, by the way. This tutorial thing is basically showing you if you follow the lane, you can basically jump off cliffs. I love tutorial things, like you know, because it's not really telling you with words, but it's like having you do it like alone and and with and by yourself. That kind of sounds dirty. I'm gonna stop saying that. So I haven't played this game in so long, by the way. What? Who oh, it? So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. Why is that? The courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. What? Sweet! 
I really like the colors in the DX, uh, the DX version. Because I remember playing this when it first came out on the Game Boy, and then um, playing on the Game Boy Advance. But then the DX version was just like... Like, freaking awesome. It has, like, colors everywhere. Look at it. Even blue rupees. Even though it's one rupee. <laughs> this is supposed to be green. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't think there's anything over here as I remember, but... Again, I haven't played this game since I was in, uh... Man, I want to say I was... I was in high school. Like, freshman year, maybe, last time I played this. I just want to see... We need items and stuff to, to do all those stuff. But now that I have the sword, I can cut bushes. Which is cool. Hello, Mr. Alla. Gazer. Okay, actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual unkind food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. <laughs> that looks pretty heavy. Oh, god damn, I forgot about that. I was gonna try to sword it, <laughs> sword it, slash it with my sword, but uh, it's a pot and you can't do it, so, on this game, this game is a little bit different, you need to be able to lift it instead, but the only thing is I hate that it always tells you that text, so, I remember there's like a sword, right, I mean not a sword, a, a map, okay. So it's cool that I go to all the screens just so I could reveal the area. Actually, wrong one. Okay, cool. Yeah, so basically I go in a... Oh, oh my god! You got a guardian acorn! It will reduce the damage you take by half! Sweet! That's right, Octorot. Is this the mysterious forest? I don't... Wait, I actually, I think there's a forest north of here, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going the right way. Let's just see what's over here anyways. Probably gonna be a key door, yeah. Huh? A keyhole here? It says tail keyhole. Ooh, ooh. I just now realized that those statutes were the Moldawarm statutes. I, I I'm shaking my head because like I never knew like what kind of uh, statutes so those were, and now that I look at it, it's pretty obvious what they are. Good job, Michael, being so observant. Yeah, so it's been like... Oh my god. It's been like a, a good 15 years, maybe? 15, right? 15 years since I like last played this game. Or beaten it through. Or maybe it was... 14, 15 and 14. So I did play it on the Game Boy Advanced. That was the last time I played it. I want to say I played it like right before Minish Cap was coming out. The Windfish Snaps. And by the by... Wait. Is that a, is that a mistake? By the by? Isn't it supposed to be by the way? By the way, have you ever visited the tail cave? Wait, isn't it tail like T A L E? That's what the keyhole said. I feel like there's a lot of uh, text mistakes right here. Say, so go there with the key you find in this forest. The wind sh shift key is watching. Hoot hoot! I thought the windfish was asleep. How's he watching? Oh, I love this song. Okay, so these guys take two swords. Oh my god, I got another one. Look at me. I'm acorn happy. Put up, put up, put up. 
<laughs> a raccoon. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. Okay. For you. <laughs> You're gonna be lost thanks to me. Ha ha ha. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess it's good that we're filling in the map at least. Oh my god, they split! Ah! So look, if there's some, uh, some floor that falls right there if you stand too long on it. Kill these bats really quick. You know what? I really like the way that those bats move. Like, basically, like, very... Like, they only move, like, when you're next to them. Pretty heavy. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna be able to get to his. I know you don't have to say the text so much. Oh, I have a mushroom. Da -da 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 -da! You picked the toadstool. Uh, back in the days when they used to call it toadstool. Nothing's over here. That guy likes to fall. And that's not gonna do it. My bad. Wait. There we go. Ah! Stupid bats. Okay, that worked better. All right, we haven't checked down here. Okay, we need an item there. And before we go to the raccoon, because he wanted to smell something, which most likely means... Which most likely means the... The mushroom. Got what I was even talking about, apparently. I'm gonna go up here just to see what's over here. Ah, <laughs> okay, I remember that now. Great job, Michael. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix, mix powder for the tricks. Can I give her the, the thing? Ah, it has a sleep toadstool, it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. <laughs> it's all ready, it is. Take care. As there's not much there. Why not try a bit on my hut? On your hut? Can I try it on the rat, maybe? Guess not. Does she wanna try it on the hut? Like uh, I guess that didn't work. You lied to me, miss. Can I kill him now? Is that what that does? I guess not! But he is high! Okay, Crazy Tracy in Mambo's Pond. 
Crazy Tracy. I love the names on this. It's Crazy Tracy. This game was, was fun because basically it was so off the wall. Kind of like Majora's Mask. Like Majora's Mask, it's, it's kind of like a parody, but not a parody. And it's a great game. Which I approve. I love great games. Okay. Now that I have life to get... Go ahead and feel my life. Ah, thank you. Was there? Or was that my head? I'm not sure. The last thing I can't ca can what the hell kind remember can last thing I can remember can what the hell is of can was bitten was biting into a big juicy toadstool then. I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Yeah, but you were a dick, raccoon. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. What the fuck is this guy talking about? What's cool is, is uh... Oh, the tail key. So I guess it is A I L. Why was it calling it tail like T A L E at the other keyhole? Who who is the the the, the team that trans like translates? They're they're not consistent. Come on. Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. What? I don't think I can go this way. Just check though. I can't go that way. Oh god, I hate black likes. Oh my goodness. He said the Traffer's power. It flows. Boing boing. Hello, it's me. Arella? What? Ask me about anything in the island. And if you get lost. Give me a call. Bye, click. Okay, so, oh, this is... So that's basically like a fortune teller-ish type of... Oh, my goodness. How many... How often do you get these things? All right. I think that's enough adventure. Let's go ahead and go to the first level and... Destroy it, because we're freaking awesome. That's right. We're freaking awesome. What's in this? There's a book up there that I need an item for. With. For. With. For with. I'm used to Zelda Classic where, like, you can swing your sword and, like, your hitbox is, like, a little bit higher for those bad guys. Crash! Nice. Level 1, Tail Cane. Okay, knock him down. Right. That was an easy room. Oh my god, there's things shooting. Does it still shoot even though the bad guys are? Okay, so Compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you. I like how it says new, just in case you uh, only played the previous Zelda. 
So I'll tell you if a key is hidden in the room when you enter. Okay, so they don't shoot when they're bad. Their bad guys are dead. That's cool. Alright, so we hear, uh... I guess we'll grab it. Why not? Buy him! See, it teaches you how to do switches. Pretty cool. You know what? I for I totally forgot about those uh, type of doors. I would like to probably put that back into Zelda, like put it to Zelda Classic, like these type of doors. They're pretty cool. Cracks me up. Oh my god, there's a key in here too. Okay, there's a key right there. There's a bomb door right here. And we got 20 rupees, alright. Joy. Happy, happy joy, joy. Oh, it looks like we have max, uh... Oh my goodness. up. Um. Oh, God. There we go. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I don't have a hammer. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I love how, like, Goombas and, and, like, Mario characters are in this game. It's like a dream world, so it's like... Oh my god, they go a lot faster than the Zelda Classic traps. And we got the Rock's Feather, and it wasn't behind uh, some lava. Gave me more than one heart, that's cool. This is the first Zelda game that you can actually jump in, which is pretty cool. Ow. Wait, have I been in this room? this way, because there's a key door over here. Alright. Wait, do we want to go up or right? Hmm. Let's go right first. Oi! Oh, cool. Uh... So, after diamond. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Really? because I got hearts. 
Oh, this is the stone beak. So basically, when you uh, talk to the to the owl with the stone beak, he could say stuff. So turn aside the spin ones with the shield. Okay, so basically it gives you clues on like what to do. Alright, cool. Wait. Shit. I feel like we missed the... The boss key. It's probably up here. I'm excited that I'm playing this game. I, like, I haven't played this game in so long, but yet it, it seems so familiar to me. Damn it. I'm trying to get you over here. Thank you. Okay. I thought I was at least gonna get it, like a heart or something, or like some, some uh, rupees or something. Damn it. I got the nightmare key. Why is it a nightmare key? Maybe they call, like, the bosses, like, nightmares. Maybe that's what it is. I really like the way that the bats work. I wonder if I can... If I can get, like... Like, on Zelda Classic, because they... So they basically do, like, a circle. Cool. I really like those bats. It's like the keys in the in the in Zelda Classic. They just like fly around like aimlessly. Like those ones like stop, it, but they don't go until like you get near them, which is pretty cool. I remember this boss, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh my god, I died. Maybe I should have went in there with full life. All right. What's cool is we have a midpoint at, at you know, at least so. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Oh fuck! You knocked me down. Son of a bitch! Now you have to like do it all over again. Damn it! You. <laughs> Instrument, the world's smallest violin. That counts like behind Link. Oh, actually, it's not a violin, it's a cello. I love the song, by the way, that they made for this. Like the main theme of the Windfish. Awesome. Swamp, a path opens in the bloom. Awesome. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching another Let's Play. This has been MBW Champion. Let's go to read this. I didn't know he was going to cut me off. Hoot! That is the instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect all of them. I was instructed to give you directions. Who told you? Your next goal is north, in the swamp, the Gopunga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. All right, well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching another Let's Play. This has been MBW Champion. We'll have fun with this uh, Link's Awakening LP. Again, it's going to be super duper fun. And oh my god, they are, they are going crazy. 
Hey, buddy! It's serious! Yeah! Really serious! Yeah, it is! The moblins! They came out to the village! And, yeah, that's right! A whole gang of moblins! And then, it's for real! Oh, my God! They went and to the house! Yeah, the house! And, and then they did something to Bow Wow's house! Oh, it's a really bad scene with the moblins! Oh, I mean... Ah, they might be fast to fight for yourself! What happened? Oh, God! Did I really talk to them again? I was just trying to jump over you guys. No! That makes me disappointed. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh, God. I need to be careful right here and not press A too fast. Okay. There we go. I'll stop right there. Anyways, Nino says bye over here. And I'll see you guys next time on the next LP of Link's Awakening. You guys are awesome. Please subscribe, be a champ, and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!